not the most effective way when you're trying to heal from any chronic illness but i completely understand why you may think so because that's what we have been led to believe uh, especially true in the case of conventional medicine where we're dealing with germs etc so we uh, fight the cancer we kill the germs we but it's not just that we also power through uh, power through pain push through exhaustion my name is anandita and i am a functional medicine certified health coach and a practitioner and today i'm talking about uh, why fighting your body is not really helping you in, in fact it's probably keeping you stuck and uh, you know not allowing you to get better the way you would like to because think of it this way does everyone who take medications uh, and get all the necessary treatments always get better uh, does uh, suppressing the immune system in the case of autoimmune conditions mean that uh, you know your symptoms have all gone your condition you know root causes have been addressed that's not usually the case right uh, otherwise everyone who took these medications and treatments would have been absolutely fine and that's not the case however having said that uh, medications are necessary treatments are necessary and uh, have to be taken uh, depending on what the situation is but there are many different ways that we can also address the root causes that often goes unnoticed and ignored and that's what i'm talking about today so i'm about to take share with you one of the steps that my take my clients through in my uh, signature coaching program i use a framework called body wise healing framework and this is one of the uh, you know assist methods that i use in that framework and i'm helping helping you to understand uh, share with you one of the uh, one of the parts of that so that you can start making changes today because the biggest mistake as i said the biggest mistake that people make is thinking that by simply taking medications and suppressing the immune system is going to help them get better and because of that you continue to take medications for more than 3 years and yet you go on to develop one more or more autoimmune conditions right and that is simply because you haven't really addressed what is going on that is immune dysregulation and why it is going on right what is at the heart of immune dysregulation and there are several ways of um, making sure that you are working with your body and not fighting your body that you are connecting with your body and there are three more steps after this but i don't want to overwhelm you so i'm going to share one of the steps because the reality is you can't be at war with your body and create an environment for it to heal at the same time right so to create a healing environment you need to uh, work with your body and support its healing process that means that you need to understand what your body needs at different moments uh, and there are ways to do that and you need to give what it needs to thrive right you need to give your body a chance to heal but even before you get to that you need to understand what your body actually needs from you and one of the most effective ways of doing that which is what i'm sharing with you is to embrace your body with uh, compassion right compassion is a powerful antidote to any kind of body dissatisfaction and research shows that just a brief period of practicing even self compassion can help us accept our bodies with love and appreciation right so self compassion is showing compassion for yourself and uh, compassion is actually kindness in when you know kind showing kindness when there is suffering that's what compassion that's the difference between compassion and kindness and with self compassion you can actually start embracing what your body does for you rather than just for how it looks and you can start really appreciating the amazing gift that it is right it may not seem that way when we are going through any kind of uh, health issues it may not seem that your body is amazing it may seem that our body is weak and vulnerable but that's not the case it has kept us alive it has protected us uh, protected us in its own way it's simply doing its best to survive right so how can you do that so there are some very uh, simple ways not easy but simple ways of doing that one is appreciating what your body can do right so you can do it by in the fair, you know in by journaling by uh, meditating on this it can be in different ways of doing that you can keep a top 10 list of things that you like about yourself right so you can do that you can remind yourself that uh, true beauty is not skin deep these are all different ways that i'm sharing with you about embracing your body with compassion you can look at yourself as a whole person 
uh, surround yourself with positive people uh, wear clothes that are comfortable i know that for many women uh, we wear clothes that we think will look good on us based on how it looks on another person or what is the latest trend but there are certain there might be uh, and if you're fine with that then you know by all means go for it but a lot of times we end up wearing things and i have i have done that we wear things or clothes which are not really comfortable and that does not really help us right so what i'm trying what i'm uh, showing you here is one way that you can embrace your body with uh, compassion and that is going to help you to start stop fighting your body and start working with your body uh, especially when you're dealing with any kind of chronic illness so in the case of my client when she said it working with me i work with women with uh severe chronic illnesses such as autoimmune conditions she uh, you know she had a tough time initially trying to figure out what kind of diet was good for her and it's uh, honestly it's not about what i think is good or what somebody else thinks is good it is what your body needs what her body needed and it was only when she stopped fighting her body she uh, did the exercises that i did that i just mentioned right now but in effect she started embracing appreciating her body for what it was right now without trying to change it that's when things started to change and she finally understood the steps that she needed to take and what kind of diet that she needed to have right so in the next step i will um, show you how to let go of your inner critic that you have so that you can connect with your body and make it your friend uh, because you know that's the that's the sec the second part of this the mistake that most people make as i said is that they continue to treat their bodies as their adversary and it is exhausting it is pointless and it is extremely painful to continue to live in a body that we think has betrayed us right to live in a body that we think is the enemy and that often happens in the case of again uh, many different situations but also in the case of chronic illnesses like uh, autoimmune conditions because in a, you know in a manner the immune system is attacking different uh, body tissues so it is very easy to believe that the body has turned against us and again to, by believing that by living in in that kind of a situation by uh, continuing to accept that as the truth can really hold us back and is probably holding you back <clears throat> if you have not been able to make any real progress uh in terms of your um health improvements right because what happens is that all your energy is focused on fighting your own body there is not much energy left to figure out what is it that your body needs and uh, and what happens again is that we ignore all the warning signs that often come along before the health issues become much more serious <clears throat> because the uh, the fact is that the body is constantly giving us messages sending us messages telling us that you know something something needs to change something is not right and if we continue to fight it if we continue to ignore it uh, it only gets worse and worse as uh, you know as it progresses right so we need to understand this we need to start appreciating these messages and we need to start paying attention to them so that they don't become serious issues in the long run so to take my case for uh, example today uh, for some strange reason i i think last couple of nights i haven't really slept well um, uh, so i've been getting up feeling a bit uh, low in energy in the morning but that's you know nothing much and today i went to the gym i worked out not much but for half an hour and i was supposed to have a call and i have this session today but just the fact that today i was feeling so tired and that's not usually the case for me that i i actually listened to what my body was saying and i took a morning mid morning nap which is very unlike me right uh, but then again i understood that there's something that is going on and uh, sleep is one of the most powerful ways to heal and i think my body needed that rest uh, so then i'll figure out of course as uh, as what what's really happening that's fine but that that nap was important so so again fight not fighting our body but uh, paying attention to the messages paying attention to maybe even the niggling symptoms that come across and there are several ways to reconnect with our body and i'm going to share with you one of the steps of uh, the a method that i use called the care method and i help my clients to uh you know to reconnect with their body to start listening to their body by letting go of the inner critic the inner critic is the voice the inner voice that keeps saying uh how you know sort of keeps us in the mode of how our body is not right not perfect 
you know there's so many issues and especially if you're dealing with any kind of health issues maybe we have 50 50 plus symptoms 100 plus symptoms uh, and there's so many things that are wrong so we only focus on what's wrong with our bodies so that's what we are trying to sort of uh, move out of you know that's that's not where the healing takes place so i'm going to share with you a key approach that i take with my clients it's called letting go of your inner critic and this will be help you to understand how you can make your body a friend in the long run so the way it works is that uh, if you can give up identifying with your body as i me or mine even if for a moment then it can be quite empowering right so this is my body this is mine uh, so we associate of course uh, that's that's actually the case but not making uh, my, your body your fault for a while uh, you can let go of the tendency to fix it this is uh, true especially in the case of uh, you know health issues health challenges um, any kind of severe uh, chronic illness uh, severe chronic illness diagnosis if we make it more impersonal and think in terms of today's body then we don't uh, you know really have to stop feeling like a failure so this is especially true if you don't really appreciate your love your body right now if you're struggling to find ways to appreciate your body if you're you know if you feel that your body has betrayed you this works uh, even you know this works really well in that case so you can start taking care of today's body right you don't you don't have to think of it as yours right now just even if it's just for a moment and you can start taking care of today's body with more tenderness and forgiveness and <clears throat> you know that today you can take care of your body the way it is right now tomorrow you might feel differently but then what counts is right now and that's all that matters right just focusing on today uh, can make a difference and then you can give your body what it needs right now right so this was a technique that i came across in the mindful magazine mindful life magazine and i love the simplicity of the approach you can check it out uh, it's a it's a it's a very simple approach but it's a very powerful uh, and effective approach so now you have two different ways that you can stop fighting your body and uh, start connecting with your body that is much more effective um, but and these are the part of the two different frameworks that i use inside my coaching program and uh, if you want to delve deeper into this and take this forward i actually have created a free ebook it's called autoimmune healing toolkit for women it is a guide and it's focused on using your body's wisdom to create a loving and healing environment right so no matter what your diagnosis is no matter how many symptoms that you have this is something that you can do today and this free ebook will help you to develop a deeper connection there are some compassionate mindfulness practices there is some journaling with uh, uh, journaling uh, tools that are there stress relief uh, through self compassion compassion forms a big part some passion and gratitude forms a big part of my coaching program so um, if you want to stop fighting your body if you want to start connecting with your body and eventually make it your friend uh, you can do that and you can uh, head to the link in bio and you can download the ebook so sign up to receive the ebook and uh, you can do that right now and if there's anybody you know who's also dealing with these issues you can share this video with them